All righty. Oh, forgive me, I'm waiting on a co-commentator here. All right, we got Okapen Cherry Bomber. No, you don't want to play? All right, all right, all right. Getting into winner's quarterfinal. We've got uh, Pokepen versus Cherry Bomber. Cherry, Bomb Cherry Bomber's been on the low max for a while tonight. Uh, Pokepen has usually been switching it up, if I remember correctly. Uh, he, he's he been testing out a few different characters, if I remember, too. So he's, I guess it's on the daisy train today. So, first of all, you'll notice. I'm uh, controlling the center stage pretty well here, too. Cherry Bomber going. Cherry Bomber with a great movement. I'll, I'll have that during the match. He knows how to. He knows his character well. His character specialist. KO Punch on deck. You gotta make sure you watch out for that a little bit. Play a little bit safer. Can't be committing to anything too much. Can't go in. Playing it very safe. Just hovering over. Kind of sharking the platform. Oh. Sometimes you just get matchup check. That's how it goes. Right back at him, too. He might have a matchup check, but he also gets match matchup check. Come on. These are both weird characters to play. I know I know those at home have both had a local they've been to where there's a little Mac or there's a Peach main and you just get rolled. I got I'll be fully honest, I got rolled by Cherry Bomber earlier today. It's just how it is. That is a rough miss on the KO punch. Alright, controlling this ledge. Alright. Cherry Bomber going back to center stage. Trying to control that area. Knowing that you can't get as much if you don't have much space to run. You got the ground control. Nice counter. He knew what was going on there. And the upbeat call. It's not enough to kill them. That'll certainly do it though. As you can see, this Cherry Bomber knows what he's doing with this character. Controlling the center stage, trying to control the get-up options. Now, when he's on the ledge, it's a little scary, though, because he doesn't have as much to do against this character. Alright, dash pack not enough. Dash pack not enough. Throw, poke pen throwing out those back airs, trying to kill. Ooh, gets caught by the armor. Ooh, no early stock. Be a little more patient with it sometimes. And there's a back air, but it's just not enough. Now basically anything will kill. Now I, now anything from Pokemon will kill here. Yep. Oh, I take that. The uppy out of shield, not getting it done. And Brit taking advantage. Oh. It is what it is. It is what it is. Look. I personally think this matchup... It's great, it's great for Peak. However, you sometimes just get smothered down with your jump cancel. If you can't get the jump cancel out, you can just get gotten by some of Max Aerials. But that throw has certainly helps the out of shield options. You gotta play with this matchup you gotta play more careful if she has turn up and shield. And I gotta say, that's a matchup check. The panic shield, panic shield is how it goes. Run back to the daisy. Oh, 
Yeah, we're back into it. You can see he's getting that platform chase pretty good, down good. That is an early kill. Oh. Okay, don't have to play around KO punch anymore. Don't have to play around KO punch. Now you can start. When you start throwing, when you start throwing out an air and forward air on shields as as Daisy ends. Your little man here, you gotta start playing around the. You gotta start waiting on that turn up pull. As you can see, he's, he's trying to he's trying to get off flats here, but it's a little tough against a little tough against Daisy here. As you can see Daisy just controlling that center stage. Well, might be Cherry Bomb is being very patient on here. Ready for the air dodge there. Is that adaptation? I don't know if Pokepen will be switching after this, I'll be honest. Sometimes you'll see him switch after a win. Uh, I've never seen him switch after a loss before, but that might just be my E. So, we'll see where they're going after this. on it is now and now all right okay hey i'm just joined with my co -com hey wait so is, is it one one right now or what uh, it's currently one one sorry oh on... carry bomber okay yeah. that's up there that score folks there we go Okay, yeah, I mean, we both yeah. played this guy today. Yeah, Cherry Bomber, he can attest, is a yeah. great little mag player. He's got the, he's got his fundies, he knows his setups. And one thing you'll notice about him is that his movement is yeah. really good. That is tough, though. Sometimes you just get caught in the air dodge, or sometimes you just get caught without your jump, and it's just tough against Daisy. Against, yeah, against it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, I thought you were talking about Mac. I was like, if I was there jumping against Mac, I mean, no, that dude. If you're jumping against, you can jump dude. in for free against Mac. Mac's like a fucking Burger King. Whoa. Okay. Free. Yeah. Okay. Like, see, this is what I mean. You can see him going for the jab, going for a safe option, and then back up a little bit, get some other spacing going. But right now, it looks like Pokemon's been adapting. Okay, a bunch, but can you make it? Can you make it? Pokemon's gotta be playing. Oh, the really the roll read. Uh, Pokemon's looking pretty patient right now too. Like I wasn't really playing that patient against Mac, but that is yeah. yeah Once you get that side B rod, it's over. Yeah. Go ahead, it's one of those. Woo! Spray Luigi, that game game three. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
Hey man, sometimes you just gotta lock into your character. I know this turn, this entire tournament, I've been, I have not been locking into Joker. I've just been, I've been having a little fun with some different characters. Yeah. yeah. Time for you to watch, but like you know, time for some smash. But honestly, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes one of those days where it's like, you know, is my secondary really better than my primary? I mean. And then, there, and then there are other days where I'm like, I should just swap Lucina. Or so there are some days where you're just like, I'm swapping, I'm swapping to Cloud, I'm swapping to Pikachu. No one's having fun if I'm not having fun. Alright, go for the slide off in there. Oh, great call out. That's a dangerous spot for Pokepen here, because you can just explode. Yeah. Pokepen's, Pokepen's controlling center stage really well, but against Mac, you never know. Ooh, just gotta get off the ledge. You just gotta get a little bit of semblance of that. It's tough. I think you're gonna have to wait on some adaptation here. It's uh. This matchup has always been tough, especially because just either get comboed by Daisy or Peach, and or zone out with a projectile. Always match Max worst matchup. Does speak to Pokepen as a player though. He's got a lot of strengths and a lot of different characters and a lot of different play styles. Very adaptable. That's yeah, the run back. Pokemon keep changing up the Peach, the Daisy. <laughs> I gotta know if there's like a secret code or something for his uh, Daisy for his Daisy coats costumes. Personally, I prefer the one he uses right now. If I ever play Daisy just in friendlies or whatever it is, always the one I'll use. But it's got to be some code to it. That'd be a confidence factor, you know. Okay, getting in. Pokepen playing very safe with the engagements. It's caught by Jab, but you can tell he's not going for anything too crazy. Like falling air, falling forward air, both both basically unpunishable. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes they're unpunishable, but if you're just floating around, you're not gonna not gonna always have a great time against Slow Max. He's quick with a bugger. So, right there is one of those things where you can just see the mastery of the character. You have the rising, you have the rising nair to add the extra little oomph to the jump, and then you get the reverse side B, knowing that you're going to get back on stage. Just one of those things where it's just one of those crazy mixes in the pool. Ooh. Sometimes you also just get robbed with Lil Mac. It's one of those things. Nice. Yeah. One thing you'll notice is that he charged that dash attack a lot. Or that, excuse me, is neutral be a lot. I always forget what the actual name of it is, but you'll notice it. It's that, since a lot of people don't know this matchup, it's that people will fall to it and don't know his options out of it. I played against him earlier and he was throwing out. He was throwing out charge. That is tough. He throws out charge punch into jump out and side paymaker. He throws out spot dodges, throws out grabs out of it. One of his good options to mix up the opponent, especially at ledge.
Battle.